This video is sponsored by Motion VFX. As a Final Cut Pro user, I rely heavily on plugins to speed up my workflow and improve the overall quality of my videos. And one of my go-to source is Motion VFX. They offer high quality, reliable plugins that just work. While there are plenty of options out there, I keep coming back to Motion VFX because of their intuitive design, which makes everything easy to use, even for beginners. One standout feature is their Design Studio, a powerful extension for Final Cut Pro that gives you access to thousands Dozens of top tier motion design elements. You can drag and drop things like dynamic titles, transitions, camera effects, and more directly into your timeline without ever leaving Final Cut Pro. It's a huge time saver and also more cost efficient since you don't need to buy each plugin individually. The best part, I've curated a collection of my favorite elements and I'm excited to share that Motion VFX now features my personal collection, which means you can use the exact tools I rely on in my own projects. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can access Design Studio. I'll also walk you through my personal collection and show you how to easily apply these elements to your videos to give them a more polished professional look. So Design Studio is a subscription-based service from Emotion VFX that gives you unlimited access to their entire plugin library. Currently, they have over 6,300 plus high quality elements. Everything is accessible directly inside Final Cut Pro with a smooth drag and drop workflow. And this makes it super convenient for everyday editing. And the best part, you can get started completely free, no subscription required. Just simply download the M extension plugin and you'll instantly gain access to a limited selection of professional graded elements and you can use these right away in your own projects and test if it fits into your workflow. So once installed, you'll find the M extension panel under the plugins tab in Final Cut Pro. When you open it, a separate window appears that you can resize to fit your setup. From here, you can browse or search for different elements. For example, if I search for cinematic title, it suggests top matches. I can then click show more to scroll through all the available titles. Hovering over any element gives you a quick preview of the animation. If I like what I see, I can download it and drag and drop it directly onto the timeline. You can also click on the elements for more details. Inside, you'll find similar elements and a tutorial video showing how to use it. Now from that same page, you can download the element and drop it into your timeline just like before. Once you've added an element to your project, you can customize it further. You can change the text adjust animation speed, enable or disable specific animation, or even track it to an object in your footage. Now, each element gives you a variety of controls so you can tailor it to your video style. Now, if you head over to the M Collections page and look under the YouTube Stars section, you'll find curated collections from popular creators like Dylan John, Sergey, Raphael, and many more, whose tutorials I personally enjoy watching. You'll also find my own collection here featuring many of the elements I use regularly. I'm also constantly updating it with new additions. You can either download the entire collection with one click or browse through and pick individual elements that work best for your projects. All the elements you download will be available in the My Library section so you can easily access and reuse them anytime. To keep everything more organized, you can also create your own collections. Just head over to My Library, click on New Collection, and give it a name. Then you can browse through the different elements. You can save your favorites by clicking on an element and choosing add to collection. It will be automatically added to the folder you created. This is super helpful for saving time, especially if you find yourself using the same elements over and over. So let's go through some of the elements I use frequently and show you how I apply them in my videos. So in the typography section, I like to save different title styles that I use regularly. For example, I often use this retro style title whenever I start a new chapter in my video. I usually combine it with a background overlay to make it stand out more. In my collection, I head over to the backgrounds and over here I have this dirty texture saved. I'm gonna select that and drag it over to my timeline. And as I hover over it, you can see that we get this nice background animation. The next thing I do is head over to typography. I'm gonna choose this title over here and drag it on top of the dirty texture. I'm gonna shorten it and this is what we get. From here on, I'm gonna select the typography and then head over to the inspector. And then I'm gonna name the title text, for example, how to add chapter titles. And I'm also going to change the subtitle text to part one. Then I'm simply going to add a sound effect. And this is what we get. 
Another element I love using is this title from the M How To Collection. And I mainly use it to highlight keywords I mentioned in my video. So to create that effect, I'm gonna drag this title on top of my A-roll where I'm saying keyword, and I'm also going to shorten it. And in the inspector, I'm going to disable this first title, and I'm also going to disable the third title and I also don't want the underline animation that is over here. So I'm gonna disable that and I'm gonna change title two to keywords. From here on, I'm gonna add a sound effect and this is what we get keywords I mentioned in my video. So that's really the cool thing about using elements from Motion VFX. You can customize them to fit your own style and use them however you like. Now regarding add-ons, they're really great for directing viewers' attention to specific parts of the video. One element I use all the time is the call-out feature from the M How To collection. What's great is that I can also add custom text to give a more descriptive message, which helps explain things more clearly or highlight important details. Another one I love is is the highlight area circle. It blurs out the background and draws the viewer's attention exactly where I need it to be. Another favorite of mine is this call out element, which I often use to point out specific parts of a gadget. Perfect for product breakdowns or tutorials where I want to highlight key features. As someone who runs a tutorial focused channel, these add-ons elements are crucial for making videos that are both engaging and easy to follow. Now, I've also got a variety of transitions and one of my favorite one is this old film transition from the M Filmate collection. It adds a really nice vintage feel that works great for certain edits. Now, another element I use all the time in almost every YouTube video is the constant zoom and zoom in effect from MKBHD's collection. It really helps make static shots feel more dynamic and engaging, which really adds energy to the edit. Also, the custom camera movement effect is another element I use often, especially when working with screen recordings. It adds a nice 3D motion effect, which makes the footage feel more dynamic and less flat. As a bonus, Design Studio also includes the M Caption AI, a powerful plugin that automatically generates subtitles in over 90 languages. It's a huge win if you want to make your content more accessible. What really sets it apart from Final Cut Pro's built-in caption is the styling flexibility. With M Caption's AI, you can fully customize the font, size, position, background, and even add animations so your captions blend in seamlessly with your video's look and feel. So is Design Studio worth it? If you're editing professionally or you're a full-time solo content creator looking to speed up your workflow and make your videos look more polished, then yes. But don't just take my word for it, try it out for yourself. With the M extension, you get free access to a limited selection of elements that you can start using right away. And if you want the full experience, there is a 14-day free trial that unlocks everything, including my personal collection. It's a perfect way to explore all the tools and see how they fit into your editing workflow. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. I'm always happy to help. Other than that, thank you so much for watching guys and see you in the next video.